boys and girls, it's time for science story time. It's fall when I'm filming this, so I have a fall book for you. It's called Leaf Man by Lois Ellert. And she did the pictures too, and they're beautiful pictures that she made by going on different types of items. That's called collage. Leaf Man used to live by me in a pile of leaves. But yesterday, the wind blew Leaf Man away. He left no travel plans. The last time I saw him, he was headed east past the chickens. Towards the marsh over the ducks and geese, a leaf man's gotta go where the wind blows. He blew over the fields of pumpkins and winter squash. And flew over the tur turkey past cabbages and potatoes in rows. Then he blew out of sight. Is he drifting west above the orchard? Or over the prairie meadows? And past the spotted cows? Well, a leaf man has to go where the wind blows. Maybe Leaf Man's gliding on a lake breeze. Or flying along the river. Following the butterflies going south. Well, a Leaf Man has to go where the wind blows. He might even be traveling north above the leaves that look like him. Or flying over the mountains with a flock of birds. When Leaf Man looks down at Earth, is he lonesome for a home? This I do know, where a leaf man land, where a leaf man for lands, only the wind knows. So listen for a rustle in the leaves. Maybe you'll find a leaf man waiting to go home with you. The end. Today, boys and girls, we're going to talk about lift drifters and ploppers. Drifters are like leaf men. When you drop them, they don't fall plop to the ground. They kind of, they kind of drift and fall kind of slowly. And ploppers, when you drop them, they go straight to the ground. So I've got a bunch of different things we can experiment with. I'm going to hold them high above the camera and when I let them go, watch as they fall down and see if they kind of drift or if they plop. Let's see, we're going to start with a real leaf. Let's see if they really drift like in the book. Are you ready? Oh, that was a drifter. Did you see it fall slowly and kind of spin? Now let's see, let's try an acorn from a tree. I'm gonna hold it up. Oh, did you see that went straight down and plopped? And then it bounced a little bit, but it's still a plop because it went straight down to the ground. Now let's see what else I have. Oh, I have a stick. Ready? Hmm, I can't decide. Let's try that again. It fell pretty 
crinkly, but it also spun a little bit. So maybe it's kind of a dropper because it didn't really drift and it didn't really plop. Let's see what else I have. Oh, I showed you my acorn before. I also picked up these acorn tops on my on my nature work. Let's see what they do. Are you ready? They were ploppers. They bounced a little, but they were ploppers. And now, oh look, I have a pretend leaf that's made out of foam. Let's see if that drifts or that pops. Ready? Oh, that was a drifter. Real leaves and pretend leaves are drifters. And let's see what else we have. Oh, I have a rock that I picked up on my nature walk. I wonder if that will be a drifter or a plopper. Let's find out. Oh, that was definitely a plopper. So let's see. Let's try two more things, maybe. Let's try, this is a ball of yarn all together. I wonder what it will do, ready? Oh, that was definitely a plopper and a roller. And we'll try one more thing. We'll try a piece of felt. Ready? Uh, that was a drifter. So we had our felt was a drifter, our real leaf and our fake leaf were drifters. Our stone was a plopper. Our, our acorn was a plopper and so were our acorn tops. And so was our ball of yarn. And our stick was kind of both. I hope that you, with your grown-up, are able to look around your house and yard and find a different, a, a, a whole different assortment of objects to uh, play the drifter or plopper game together with. You might want to find a bunch of different objects that I used to try to experiment with and you also might want to try one of the two, one or two of the things I used to see if they're drifters or ploppers for you. But before you go to gather your items and play the games, make sure your grown up hits like, and if they haven't subscribed yet, have them, have them click the subscribe button too. Bye boys and girls.